Hey everybody, you've been wondering how to build a great website? Well, today I'm going to give you a brief overview of Formidable Forms. If you're interested, stick around. So what exactly is Formidable Forms? Well, Formidable Forms is a plugin for WordPress that actually allows you to define and create forms. It also allows you to do a heck of a lot more than that. It's got the ability to actually do custom programming with it. It also allows you to keep track of each form that's submitted. It allows you to make posts in WordPress. It allows you to register users. You can see on the screen here, there's a number of different types of templates that you can also choose from. So to give you an idea, if I open up the business templates, you can see all the different things that come in here by default. Well, one of the things that I love about Formidable Forms is the fact that I can actually extend all this functionality quite easily. And if you have any knowledge of PHP, you can install um, certain snippets in here and stuff that will allow you to actually do a heck of a lot more than just the base functionality with Formidable Forms. Now, the base functionality of Formidable Forms is quite good, but it, there are times where you're going to want to be able to do something extra with it. It's as simple as that. So in those instances, I find that Formidable Forms has built in a series of hooks and filters, and if you don't know what hooks and filters are, um, just ask in the comments and I'll try and explain. But um, it allows me to actually develop those hooks and filters and extend upon the functionality quite easily. And they have really done a great job. So I'm gonna go through some uh, basic stuff, but um, we will not get into the hooks and filters in this video. I will produce another video later on that, that shows how uh, easy that actually is. Okay, so let's uh, create a form. What we'll do first is we'll actually choose one of their default templates here and stuff. So let's go for something, I don't know, let's say we just want some feedback from somebody. So we want customer feedback. So it, with them, it's as simple as clicking on this and then clicking on create. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see that it's actually defined a form in here and stuff. Now, one of the really cool things about Formidable Forms is that aside from these templates, you can actually build your own. Because if you notice on the side here, you've got all these different types of fields that you can pull into your actual form. So to give you a good example, let's preview this form. So we'll preview it in the theme. And you'll see that right now what's happened is it's created this form where they're saying, are you satisfied? So on and so forth. And what did you buy? So I'm going to say that I bought a television. And why did I buy it? Well, because my other one burned out. And how satisfied were, were you with the following aspects of what you bought? So I'm just gonna say I was very satisfied with everything. It was good. And then there, are, and you can see that it's just letting you do a feedback form. And I can go in here and I can say, would I buy something? And I definitely, and when I submit that form, it's gonna come back and it's gonna say your responses were successfully submitted. So what's interesting about this now is that if you notice up at the top here, you've got different settings, you get entries, and you got what they call views. So we'll get into the views in a minute, but the settings, if you've seen that little message that said said your, your form has been submitted, well, they've thought about all this kind of stuff. So let's put, we will be in touch soon okay and we'll update that and now you'll notice that if i go and i preview the form and i can say okay i bought a phone it was dead and we'll say that we were pretty satisfied 
all the way along. And how can we improve it? Let's say, give me one that isn't dead the first time. And would you use, and yes, I definitely would. So I'm gonna submit that. What you're gonna notice now, it says we will be in touch soon. So you can see there's a lot of flexibility, but what's really nice is that you can go into the entries and you can see the entries that were actually made. And there it is. You can see each of them here and you can see whether they were satisfied and so on and so forth. Now, what's even more interesting about formidable forms is that you can create what they call a view. So I'm gonna create a view here on the customer feedback form. And if I add one in here and stuff, and I say, okay, I wanna create a view and we're gonna say, we're just gonna call it report, okay? So our satisfaction report. And it's gonna be from the feedback. We're gonna get all the entries. And you'll notice over here on the side, if I go into here and I click, what you're gonna see is that down in here, this is where all the different fields are that we chose stuff from. So I'm gonna minimize some of this WordPress stuff so that we don't see it, because we don't really need to see all this stuff anyways. So let's just minimize a lot of it so that we can actually see where the customization is. And we're gonna move this up a little bit. So let's just move it up there. There, good, cool, perfect. Okay, so now we've got, you'll notice too that, that we can do stuff like this, like we can actually move stuff around, we can move it down here so that we've got the publish here. So now if I wanted to create a view so that we can actually see what's happening here, it's as simple as doing this. So what did you, or let's say item purchased and we go like this and we just simply click on this and put in a little tag you'll see that there's a 79 there so so why purchased and we'll go like this and we'll just click on here and say 80 and you get the idea so you can actually create your own report well the nice thing about this is that if i want to i'm going to publish that and I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna see what it's gonna look like. So what you're gonna see now is that it came up with the satisfaction report. What was it purchased? Why? Because mine was burnt out. What was purchased? The phone. Why was it purchased? It was dead. So you can see each actual response from your customer and stuff. What's even nicer about this though is that if I wanted to go over and I wanted to add a page in here and just call it customer report then I can I can click on the formidable button here and I can say okay I want to insert a view my satisfaction report and I want to insert it into this post and then I can set up all my security as if it's a, as if it's a page on my site and when i publish that page now your staff or if you designed it for customers and so on and so forth can can actually see this on your website so it becomes an actual page on your website so you can see how you can easily build a lot of stuff with formidable forms this is some of the best technology out there as far as i'm concerned for building reports the other thing that's really, really, really nice about Formidable Forms is that they've got all these add-ons, okay? So for instance, you can see that you can add in Formidable Forms Pro. I'm just showing you the basic stuff here. Formidable Forms Pro goes, goes way beyond a whole lot of other things, but you can also integrate with Active Campaign or authorize that if you wanna take payments. Aweber, which is a, which is a great email marketing service you can add in bootstrap styling or bootstrap modals so modals are the little dialogues that pop up campaign monitors constant contact add more date picker options uh there's tons of of add-ons 
for this right off the bat so that you can actually do very simple things. You can integrate with WooCommerce so that you can actually have a full-blown commerce, e-commerce website. There is no end to what you can do with formidable forms. And this is exactly why I really, really, really love this product. And I hope you've got a good overview of it. I will try and do some more um, in-depth discussions of various parts of, of formidable forms. But honestly, this is, this is something that everybody should look into using at some point or another. I've used it to develop simple websites. I've used it to develop full-blown full blown web applications for large organizations. Um, it is definitely the tops. It's as simple as that. You cannot get anything better. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief uh, overview and review of Formidable Forms and Stick around, subscribe, so that you can find out more. Bye for now.